are going. Can I also get a pack of those lemon heads up there? Can I get a pack of those lemon heads? Have a good one. Oof. Beautiful day out today. There's a little bodega around the corner from where my stealth camping spot is. And if you guys have watched my last video, you'll recognize where I'm currently camped out on the streets in Philly. Stealth camping here on the side of the road. And after I made breakfast, I figured, why not film another video today? But I went over to the uh, bodega over there, got some lemon heads because I haven't seen them in forever, and I used to love them. I used to get them from the uh, neighborhood ice cream man, but I never see them anywhere anymore. They're so good. So I got one of those in the seltzer water. But I don't think I want to stay here again at my stealth camping spot here on the streets in Philly because it's about to be the weekend, and cities get a little bit rowdier on the weekends. So I'd rather head out. My plan initially was going to be to go to New York, but I also don't really want to be in New York City on the weekend. So... I think I might drive out more west into the uh, country and not in the city and just see what I can get into. I honestly have no plan for today. Don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I haven't done a video like this in a while where I kind of just take you guys along on a day of living in the van. So that's what we're doing. But first, we got to get up and out of Philly. So I think before I try to figure out what I'm doing for the night tonight, I'm going to drive out of the city and then get myself a plan together. Figure out where I'm going. to a love gas station here in New Jersey. And I forgot, for some reason in the state, you can't pump your own gas. So we gotta wait for the guy to come over and help us. Yes, How's it going? Thank you. Which I guess is kind of nice, but I mean, in a way it kind of takes longer. I wish I could fill up my own gas. I wonder what the reasoning behind that is. I've actually never looked it up why I can't fill my own gas in New Jersey, but. I wanted to get out of the city before rush hour um, and I didn't really have a destination. So I just put a pin down on the highway and drove until I found a, uh, rest stop, truck stop to pull over at, which is where we're currently at, because I need to figure out where I'm going and what I'm doing tonight and where I want to park my house. So. Thank you very much. You're Have a good Have one. Good day. And this is kind of the thing that sucks about van life and living in a van on the East Coast is there's just not as many options for places to camp and things to do and being able to go out in the wilderness and stuff like that. And 90% of your time is spent at places like this, either getting gas, camping, and or planning where you're gonna camp tonight because it takes a lot more planning when you're on the East Coast than it does on the West Coast just because of the lack of BLM land and places that are free to camp. Thank you very much. I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome, have a great day and safe travels. You as well. Got myself an apple. Some spicy pickles. I've never had the spicy ones. I hope they're not too spicy. I usually get the regular ones. It's kind of hard to eat healthier when you're shopping at a gas station, but then again, I did have four Philly cheesesteaks yesterday, so I guess it doesn't really matter. The only thing with these sandwiches you can get from the gas station is there's never sauce on them, which I guess makes sense, but it is a good thing I have my own. So now we got to figure out what we're we doing for today. Oh, this is the driest sandwich I've ever had in my life. It's so not good. Wow. Oh my God, I just realized these military trucks in front of me must have locked their keys out of their Humvee because they called the fire department. They just came over with one of those things to like fish down the window to get it open. That sucks. It's gotta be hard to get in one of those if you don't have the key. Although I am curious as to why they sent the fire department to come get them out and not like a locksmith. Anyways. Let's figure out where we're going, what we're doing, and what direction we're heading to for this afternoon. Doing stuff like this is easily 40, 50% of your time. Trying to figure out where you're going next, where you can camp, where you want to camp. I've been searching for like 10 minutes and I did find a place that I could camp, but this is what the uh, first review says. I'm guessing some sort of hunter posted this because it is in a multi-use area. No normies allowed. If I catch you here in your 100K Sprinter van or your Dodge Promaster with butcher block counters, I'm slashing your tires. So, gotta love the East Coast. I don't know if we're gonna be able to camp out in the wilderness. And it looks like the uh, military guys got in there, got in their truck. They got their door open. Fire department just left. All right, I just searched for probably 
30, 45 minutes, wasted a bunch of time. Couldn't find anywhere that I really liked that I wanted to stay, so sometimes that's just the name of the game. So I think I'm gonna use today just to get more north. I'm driving past New York now into Connecticut, and then I'm gonna hit New York City on the way back. I just don't feel like doing another city tonight or within the next two days, so we're past it for now, but we will hit it on the way back, I promise. And genuinely, every time I drive up north in this van, I get scared because so many of these roads up here that are labeled as parkways, that a normal car can drive on, a truck can't, because there's such low height restrictions on some of these bridges that you have to drive under when you get off on those parkways. And some of them are like six, seven feet, so like even my van can't fit under them. So I have to constantly be paying attention and make sure I'm not driving down a road with a tunnel that my van can't fit through, so it gets a little bit stressful. And you guys might be surprised to find out that I actually don't have an easy pass and I have lived in Maryland my entire life. So, we gotta stop and get a ticket. We're gonna find out how much the Jersey Turnpike is nowadays. And if you're unfamiliar with how the uh, Turnpike works, you pick up a ticket that has a bunch of different options for exits on it. And then wherever you exit, kind of determines how much you owe. And I have no idea what my GPS wants me to do here. Why is it telling me to get off the highway, loop around 80 times, and then get back on the highway? <laughs> that makes no sense. Ay, ay, ay. I will be continuing straight. Hopefully it fixes itself. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to get me to do that. So much traffic. I left at probably the worst possible time to be driving through New York City. Friday afternoon at 4 p.m. It's gonna take me another two and a half hours to go my last 40 miles. Gotta love New York. All right, it's time to see how much it cost. How's it going? Good, Thank, Thank you. you very much. Have a good day. 14 bucks. A little pricey, but I guess it could have been worse. We are pulling up on New York now. You can kind of see it just out the window over there. My GPS keeps trying to reroute me to uh, parkways to save save time, but my dad told me, because he, uh, he drove a tall vehicle up here once, and every time I've driven here, I've thought about it, to avoid any road that says parkway, because uh, that's where all those low bridges are and that kind of stuff. And my dad, when he was driving his truck up here, he drove down one of those parkways and had to stop and pull over on the side of the road and call the police to help him get out and that's what they told him. So that's what we're doing and we're staying on this road and we're going over the GW bridge even though my GPS keeps trying to reroute me. To our exit I have been sitting in non-stop traffic for the last two hours from New York all the way up to here it has been 100% traffic with almost no brakes so I'm very happy to finally be getting off the highway and making it to our campsite for the night and this is it I don't know if you can see anything with that Sun glaring into the windshield like that but <laughs> we're just out of travel center or on the East Coast, they're actually called service centers. And this is actually the Connecticut Welcome service area. And this parking lot right here is where we're calling home for the night. Ooh, beautiful sunset out. That's nice. And I love traveling in the van in October and in the spring, the weather is perfect. Ugh, oh, it's gonna be so nice sleeping tonight. like an airport in here. I was really hoping they were gonna have showers here because I definitely need one, but sadly they don't, so. Might just have to take a head shower in the van. I also have so many fun looking vending machines in here. I might have to come back in here and try one. So it's been like two days without a shower, so I don't necessarily need one. It would just feel good to have one, but sadly this truck stop does not have any, so just have to settle for a quick head shower. At least should have done my dishes this morning. I also do think I'm running very, very low on water. So I'm not even sure I'm gonna have enough water to actually take a head shower, but I know I'll definitely need to fill up my tank again tomorrow. It's 
not the most luxurious experience ever doing a shower in the sink, but it does leave you feeling a lot cleaner, especially when you have longer hair. I hope I have enough to rinse this out. There we go. Feel a lot better. I might take a uh, baby wipe shower later tonight, but I haven't decided. I might just go find a shower first thing in the morning tomorrow. I also need to figure out what I'm doing for dinner because I do not know if I have anything in the van to cook. I haven't gone uh, grocery shopping, or at least real grocery shopping since I left my house, so not sure I'm gonna have anything. I always get questions when I go out on these road trips if I'm lonely or if I get lonely or if it's boring or anything like that. I wouldn't necessarily say it's lonely. I think there's a difference between being lonely and being alone. And like 80% of the time, it's just kind of me being alone. I enjoy being with myself, so I don't feel lonely even though I am alone. And it's also nice because I'm constantly on the move, so I'm always doing something. So even on nights like this when I'm stuck in a truck stop parking lot. I can find something to do to entertain myself and make the most of where I'm at. So I think tonight that's gonna be going in there and playing some of those vending machines and uh, maybe getting some dinner depending on what I have. But I don't think that I have much. I do have those cheese steaks left over in the back there but I don't really want another cheese steak. And then other than that, I really don't have much. Just a bunch of cheeses and sauces. Um, also not a lot in here. We're just gonna have to head back inside grab some dinner, play some games. Wow, look at that sunset. That is spectacular. I think we're in Darien. Yeah, we're in Darien. It says, welcome to Darien on the sign up there. I don't think I've ever been here. Maybe I drove through here when I drove up to that wedding with my girlfriend a few weeks ago, but I mean, that's one of the best truck stop sunsets I've ever seen. I mean, there's some great prizes in here. You got a PS5, Nintendo Switch, AirPods, Michael Kors purse, but they're basically impossible to win, but. More Nintendo Switches, AirPods. See if we can win. Nope. I don't know how many tries I bought, but I got six left. Haha, I finally won one. I don't really know what it is. DNC Duckling and Chick Blind Box Series, number one. It only cost me $30. Oh, it's so dark in here. Now we gotta find a spot to put our little friend somewhere in the van. Perfect. Now he can travel the country with me wherever I go. Honestly, living in a van, when you have kind of all the amenities that I do with the sink, oven, toilet, gaming setup, bed, it's almost exactly the same as living in a normal house with the small caveat of you have to find a place to put your home every single night. And sometimes hoping you have enough water to do your dishes like I do tonight. And also for anyone who's following along and has wondered what I'm doing with the truck, the Japanese truck camper that I'm building out. We have just had a bunch of delays in getting the truck over here and getting it set up and getting the camper shell built out on the back of it. It has taken a lot longer than I anticipated. I'm hoping it'll be done by the time I get back from this trip up to the Northeast. All right, I got most of them done. I'm on that big pot soak because it's got too much crud in it for me to want to scrub it out right now, but there is a way for me to be able to tell how much water I have left, but it requires me opening up the back doors and going out there and checking. So most of the time, I don't know. I have kind of a good mental gauge for it now since I've been living in the van for two years. So I kind of know about when I'm running low and when I need to fill up. And I'm just guesstimating right now is one of those times where my tank is pretty low. Also, for those of you guys who watched my uh, video where I cooked with Kyle, the Michelin star chef, he made some comments about the fact that I don't have any like uh, towels in the van. So he gifted me uh, a whole set of these like kitchen towels from his restaurant, but they have come in handy for a lot of things.
there we go. Dish is done, van reset for the next day of adventures, wherever that may be. But it has gotten to that time of the night where I'm probably just gonna lay down in bed, watch some TV and plan where I'm heading to next. So as always, truly appreciate you guys watching. It was a very casual video today. Didn't really have much planned, kind of just a day in the life, living in the van without something to cook, anywhere to go, or a real plan for what I wanted to do. When I'm not filming, this is how a lot of my days look. Let me know if you guys like it. Maybe I'll start filming some more on uh, my off days. Off days. As always, I truly appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, think about clicking that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.